Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today, we are doing something I always do. We're doing a bunch of crafts. But before we begin, there's one thing that I have to tell you guys. T-Series is still almost beating PewDiePie. I know. It's a huge problem. We can't let the king of YouTube get overthrown. So what I want all of you to do is go to PewDiePie's channel and tell him that he can beat T-Series by making crafts. I know it's a stretch, and it sounds crazy, but I think it'll work. Even Mr. Beast knows this. He has a whole channel now dedicated to him doing life hacks and crafts. Felix, if if you're watching this, you know what to do. Anyway, let's do some life hacks! Woo! So I don't have any lipstick, so I'm gonna see if uh, Tori has any that I can borrow. Lipstick. Are you in here? Oh, sh oh that's not even makeup. What the heck? Where's Tori even keep her makeup? Oh, it was right out in front of me the whole time. Uh, Maybe in the bathroom. Hmm. Maybe one of these will work. This kind of looks like lipstick. Sure, let's go with that one. Okay, so the first step was put the makeup on the finger. Awesome, makeup is on my finger. Then we get our tape, put it on there, and then get that fingerprint. Yeah, sure, that's good fingerprint. Oh yeah, that'll totally work. Okay, so just to show you guys that this phone does unlock with my fingerprint, I'm just gonna, boop, it's unlocked. Do that again, put my finger on it, it's unlocked. Now we're gonna try it with this one. So it looked like she just kind of put it on another finger, so I'm just gonna put it on my middle finger right here. Now boom, it's uh, it's basically my finger that I used to unlock my phone. This is my regular finger I use, this is not my regular finger. So this is my regular finger. Unlocks perfectly. Now we're gonna try it with this finger. Ready? It's not unlocking. It doesn't seem to be working. I feel like now it's just like a mixture of my two fingerprints. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, so makeup on finger. Tape on finger. We now have my fingerprint. Now I'm gonna put it on the phone and see if it unlocks without me touching it. Maybe if I put tape over my finger so that I don't mess with the actual fingerprint. Boom. Let's try this. It doesn't seem to be uh, unlocking my phone. So I'm gonna say that this doesn't work, guys. Okay, so first step, water. Second step, boil the water. Water's boiled, then we add our tin foil. I guess I'm just supposed to boil it just like that. Baking soda, even though I could totally be sarcastic and just add regular soda like they said in the video. I'm gonna put a lot, because I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. Gonna let this do its thing, I guess, for a little bit. Here's our copper key, let's see if it'll uh, change color. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to leave this in for. Let's pull it out. Is it silver? I don't know. Okay, that doesn't quite look silver. Throwing it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for five minutes and uh, I'll be back. Okay, let's see what the results are. It still looks the same. I don't understand. What is this supposed to do? Maybe if I put more tin foil in? I don't know. I'm gonna try with the tin foil like this on the outside. We're gonna add some more baking soda too, just to be safe. Oh no, I almost lost it. It's still not turning silver. What is supposed to be happening here? I don't understand. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just where the baking soda dried onto it. Oh my God, this is about to overflow. I guess this one doesn't work. Sorry guys. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So we got our condoms. I can't wait for my new wrist cushion. Woo! Ugh. This is already so slimy. Fill it up. There we go. Oh yeah. This looks like it's gonna be the best wrist cushion I've ever had. Uh. Wee! <laughs> I have so many fond memories with condoms. Fond memories with condoms. Look at the tip. You gotta come out. I don't want it. I don't want it. Hi. Oh. No. Oh man, I am so excited to use my new wrist cushion. Don't need this one anymore. Oh yeah, that works. That's perfect. I love it. This is the best life hack I have ever done. It's not luby or slippery at all. It's perfect for using my mouse. Yes. I love it. What's <laughs> wrong with the internet? I wonder if I can put it on my camera. You still see me? Oh, you can see my face. I don't know why it's so fun to play with water-filled condoms. Okay, boys, we got our steak. Ooh, that's a nice looking piece of meat. Now we're gonna try and torch this baby. I don't see why this one wouldn't work. I mean, it's basically the same thing as cooking a steak on a grill. Oh, that thing is sizzling. It's like popping. 
Okay, this is just a touch scary, guys. Can you eat, like, propane once it's, like, can you eat this still? I feel like this is gonna set off my fire alarm. Okay, let's flip these bad boys over. Oh, that is not cooked on that side. Okay, now to cook the other side. I mean, it seems to be working fine. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just cooking my steak with a blowtorch. Yep, I knew it! I knew that was gonna happen! Holy f Don't worry, everyone, I was just cooking steak with a blowtorch! <sighs> okay, where was I? It it's working, see? I don't know if it's like actually edible though. I mean, that was so like it's just propane. It's like the same stuff you use in your grill. It's getting so hot, it's melting the, the paper. Do you want to try some of the steak, Tori? I want to pass on it. You want to pass on eating the steak? <laughs> I'm sorry. You have it all for yourself. Oh, it happened again. Woo! Okay, good thing we're almost done, guys. This looks uh pretty good. Okay, so Eddie's a professional cook. What do you think about this? Looks medium. Looks about medium. Is that medium good? good? Yeah. Um, you'd eat that, right? I'm gonna try this. You wanna try this with me? Uh, I think I'll pass. Do you wanna try eating some of my steak? I'm good. <laughs> Come on! It's it's fucking steak. It's gourmet. I made it, it with a blowtorch. Like You're gonna lick it? No, I'm no. gonna eat it. I'm gonna try eating this bad boy. Okay, boys. Now it's time to try this beautiful steak. Ooh! It's cooked all the way through. Look at that! I mean, it's a little bit pink on the inside, but that's not bad. Yep, it's a steak. <laughs> It's a little bit chewy. It's not the best steak I've ever had. It's not bad though. Considering I cooked it with a blowtorch. Yeah, it's cooked just right, kinda. I mean, like I said, it is a little bit chewy. A little bit of red inside, a little bit of pink. I guess I'm gonna have to say it works. This life hack isn't body shaming at all. I love it. Okay, guys. So this is my tummy. It could be flatter, right? It could absolutely be flatter. So we're just gonna get our tape. And then her lid just, just like that. Do another piece. This is so ridiculous. I'm just putting tape on my back. It's good. Okay, did it do anything? I don't know. I feel like I look about the same. What do you guys think? Do I look the same? I feel like I look pretty much the same. So this is with the tape on me. And then this is without the tape on me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this didn't work for me. <laughs> You guys thought that the blowtorch was crazy. I can't wait to try this one. I just know for a fact, if you try and fish something out of the toaster with a fork, you're gonna get electrocuted. So I feel like putting tin foil in the toaster isn't the best idea. But you know what? Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. So I'm gonna put my full trust in them. There we go. Awesome, it's a perfect size for the toaster. Okay, so we got our steak, we got our toaster. I'm actually gonna hook this up to a surge protector because I don't trust it to not burn down my house. Okay, now we just put it in the toaster. I'm gonna put it on extra dark. And now we wait 10 minutes. This is so like disconcerting. I really hope this doesn't like burn down my house. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes or when this thing catches fire. No, 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 you're not ready yet. Okay, fifth time. Okay. Time is up. Gonna fish this bad boy out. Oh man. Okay. Ooh, it's dripping. It's a juicy steak. I'm gonna unplug this for safety. Let's go inside and unwrap this baby. <sighs> okay guys, now time to unwrap this baby. Oh man. Ooh, it is nice and hot still. It doesn't look like it's all the way cooked. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, I think it still might be a little bit rare. Eddie, you're the cooking expert. What do you think of this? Looks better than the last one. Does it? Yeah. Would you eat this? Yeah. Okay, try it. Can you like eat it first and then- You want me to eat it and then I'll spit it in your mouth? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, it tastes like tin foil. Oh. This is awful. Oh, ugh. I can't do it. I feel like I'm literally eating tin foil. I don't even want to put this in my mouth. It looks like it's not even cooked all the way. I think the tin foil melted onto my steak. Ugh. That's so gross. Does anyone want to try the steak? I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part where I recreate the thumbnail. Woo! So we get our tin foil, kind of just crumble it up to make it into a ball. I've actually done this before. It's called the tin foil ball challenge. I made a whole series of three videos where I do weird shit with the tin foil balls. Probably gonna fuck up the microwave really good. Uh, they're they're really funny. Uh, go ahead and watch them if you guys want. <laughs> yeah, that looks uh, that looks about the right size. Okay, that should be good. So I 
I bought bananas for this and uh, they're already kind of going bad. They didn't look like this when I bought them, I swear. I think they just got a little bruised. Anyway, apparently if you put tin foil all over the stem of it, it'll keep it fresh longer. Yeah. That looks like it'll work. Okay, I'll uh, show you guys the results in a couple days. Day two. Okay, so it's been about two days. Uh, this is how our bananas look. Oh man, I'd say that they're both pretty equally messed up. They definitely look like they've aged a lot. Um, I don't think that putting tin foil on the stem really did anything. In fact, this one actually looks like it's even more messed up a little bit. Well, yeah, I'd definitely say that these are about the same. They both look like <laughs> they've gone through <laughs> I'm not to say this one's busted. Man, I tell you what, these life hacks are getting harder and harder to do. So first I gotta put a thumbtack in my paper. I mean, now I got two holes in my paper. Then I got my string. Slip, slip. Now apparently I should be able to draw a perfect oval now. Oh, thumbtack fell out. Grab my favorite pen. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, sh it flew out again. Oh, that just popped out. As you can see, it's working pretty good. Let's try with a different one, maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect circle. Perfect ovals. Every time. See? It's a perfect oval. Don't like how big that one is? Let's make it longer, then, I guess. That's how it works. Oh, did Why does that keep flying out? No. Oh, my paper's so ripped now. So, I mean, it's kind of working. It's just a little bit impractical because now you have holes in your paper. So, I guess we could say this one works. Okay, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you give a thumbs up. Let's some of this button right down there. If you guys like this video and you guys want to watch me fail at even more five minute craft stuff. I have a whole playlist dedicated to that. Uh, click right here. If you guys are new and want to watch more of my videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here or down the description down below. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Granitic. Okay, bye. Ah!